For those of you who don't know, just over a week ago, Minister Dutton gave Mojgan the news through one of his people, not even face to face, but over the phone, to say that Mojgan's most recent submission, asking for him to use his discretion, his perfectly legal discretion, to demonstrate some compassion and allow her to apply for a partner visa while in Australia had been rejected. Her case was considered finally determined and she was expected to settle her affairs, settle her affairs and make preparation to return to Iran by the end of uh, a six month visa. And we are very clearly saying, no, Minister Dutton, that is not going to happen. Mojgan must stay. Mojgan must stay. Mojgan has some words that she'd like to, to say and then I'm going to say some more things on behalf of myself and Millard. Please welcome Mojgan to the microphone. Hi everyone, thank you for coming and showing support. I cannot express how much I appreciate your love and care toward me and all the refugees. Your voice will not only make me strong and have so much hope in my heart, I'm sure it's also a big, a big reason for all the other asylum seekers offshore and onshore to live with the hope that your voice created for them. My brother and I have been in Australia for five years and all our focus was toward a better life, a good contribution and to make our dream come true. However, in these few years in limbo, we haven't yet been able to call this beautiful country, which gave us safety and opportunities home. The reason that I haven't lost hope totally and yet never give up, it's because of the amazing and kind people I'm surrounded by. I want to thank each and every one of you who made so much different in my life. Thank you. Milad, it's, it's a very emotional day today for all of us, for Mojgan and Milad especially. And Milad has asked me to say a few words because it's, it's very difficult for both of this, this, this young people beside me today. Um, Milad is feeling tired, Mojgan is feeling tired. This has been a long campaign and we have done so many things. We have done over 12 different public demonstrations. We have almost 110,000 votes on um, the online petition at change.org saying that the minister should exercise his discretion, have some compassion. They've published a book. They've been in Australian ABC story, um, Australian story on ABC twice. So many Australians have come out in support of this beautiful young couple and yet still the minister does not listen. Still the minister has no accountability for the decision that he makes and he can just say, no, I choose not to intervene. I choose not to use my discretion. And that gets really hard. That gets difficult for people who are fighting the good fight. And you can feel hopeless at times. And you can feel disheartened. And in the media, some of the reports recently have been saying, you know what, this young, you guys, you're back to square one. But you know what, we're not. We are not back at square one. Because today we have all of you here Today, I've had, we have so many of our supporters who are here with us saying, this is the wrong decision, we will not be quiet, we will not stop fighting, we will continue to be here, not just for Mojgan and Millard, but for all people who are seeking asylum, for all people who've had their human rights violated by this disgusting, evil, appalling excuse for a human being, who dares to call himself a leader in our country. <laughs> Minister Dutton, shame on you. Shame on you. I've never called a person evil before. I've never said a politician should be sacked. But Minister Dutton, you are an absolute disgrace. Where is your heart? How can you live? How can you live and go to sleep at night thinking that you are doing any kind of good in this world when all you bring is hate? All you bring is an embarrassment for our country. It's disgusting. And we're not going to stop fighting until that man no longer represents us.
Mojgan must stay. And it's not just, Mojgan is a symbol. Mojgan is a symbol for all the innocent people who've come to our country fleeing the most horrific circumstances of what we, fortunately, many of us have never had to face. She is a symbol of all of those people. And I am just touched by the number of people standing here today, the people that I know and people that I'm yet to meet who are here fighting the good fight and will not be silent. And every time there's a call to arms, they are here standing with us saying, this is Australia. This is the Australia we believe in. An Australia of compassion and hope. People who stand up and give other people a chance, who recognise injustice and speak up to speak against it. So thank you everybody for being here today. Thank you for your support of this beautiful young couple. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. We cannot appreciate, we cannot express the amount of appreciation we feel in our hearts to you. So keep, keep spreading these stories. Keep telling people about this because when enough people wake up, we will make that change and we will make the reality that the Australia that we're living in, the reality that we believe in, the reality we see in our own hearts. I have hope we're not back to square one. We're just a bit more along the way in this journey to the Australia that we want to live in. Thank you everyone for being here today. Mosgan must stay! Mosgan must stay!